Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun with some colour. I'm going to play with some brand new products as well. I'm playing with the Vegan palette by Kat Von D which is just so fun with all these colours. I got so many requests for it. So I am playing with a few new fun products in this video today. I'm excited for you guys to watch it. Let me know what you think. It is very rare that we play with colour so when we do we make sure we have a lot of fun. Okay lovelies let's get into my skin. So I don't know if you guys saw my post recently but I am just totally obsessed with the Tarte Dewy Skin cream I think it's just absolutely beautiful it is made with purple jasmine rice um which is really really good for hydration so I'm just going to really start to work that onto my skin the next thing that I'm going to do is fill in my brow so I'm just going to take my pro brow brush um, I'm actually going to go in with the shade number four cabrow um, by benefit and the reason why I'm doing that today is because I overtoned my hair <laughs> I said to my sister I'm going to just tone my own hair it's totally fine don't stress She's like, really? You sure? You really sure you're going to do that? I said, yeah. And uh, I kept it on too long. So now my hair is just looking a little darker than usual. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is prep my eyes. Now I'm going to take my Accomplice Touch Up Concealer Stick by Marc Jacobs, which comes in this super beautiful packaging it is like it literally looks like a lipstick that is a full coverage concealer you guys i actually want to show you guys exactly how it looks just by putting it on by itself so we want a full coverage over my eyelids just to really prep for those shadows okay the next product i'm going to go in and set my eyes with is actually the mark jacobs accomplice powder this is this one right here it's got about a medium coverage but it's so hydrating and it just doesn't even feel like powder at all i'm just going to take my little fluffy brush and i'm just going to set over that this brush is a sigma e35 so i've set over my eyes and then we'll go back in and use these two products again on my face but i just wanted to start off with using them on my eyes to build up a little bit of coverage to even out um, the skin tone on my eyes they can be a little bit red a little bit veiny sometimes so i've just gone ahead and done that okay the next product that i'm going to use is my mark jacobs tantastic omega bronze this is the one right here so just taking that bronzer on a 221 visor weaver i'm going to start to run it into my socket line and we're going to start to build up that product so we're going to keep trying to build that pigment just zoomed you guys in a little so you can see a bit better so we're just building up that bronzy shade in my socket line the next thing that I'm going to do on my eyes is take the Kat Von D Vegan Palette. I showed you guys this one on Instagram stories and you guys absolutely loved it. The pigment to it is absolutely amazing. So given the fact that I'm wearing a little blue top today, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of the blue shades in there and um, we're just going to have some fun with it and see where it goes. Okay, so before I go in with my Vegan Palette, I'm just going to take my E35 by Sigma and just take this Seeking shade here from the Marc Jacobs Iconic Palette. So now I'm going to pick up this blue shade right here and I'm actually going to take it on my finger and press that onto my eye. I'm going to now introduce a flat shader brush by Zoeva and pick up the rest of that product and really press it over and into my eye. Now I'm going to go in with my same flat shader brush and empathy and I'm just going to press over and start to create a really nice transition to that dark brown. So as you guys can see, I am pressing over and I'm kind of going over the brown a little. I'm kind of making it reflect a little bit more purpley. So now I'm just going to blend that off really softly. And now just with the black from my iconic palette from Marc Jacobs, I'm just going to pick that up and softly apply that to the outsides. And then using my 221, I'm just going to blend that off. Just going to clean up that all out. So to make this really cool and fun, I'm actually going in with the Fenty Beauty Baywatch Vivid Liquid Liner Trio. I'm going to take the blue. I'm going to create a liquid liner with this. Okay, now it's time for some mascara. I'm just going to go in with my Go Big or Go Home Mascara by Kat Von D, which I love. It is so amazing. We're blinking straight into the lash. For some lip balm today, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Luscious Lip Balm in Hint Hint. Oh, this is bougie. And I'm going to add that to my lips just to keep them nice and plump and hydrated. Okay, so because that Tarte Dewy Skin Cream is really, really nice and dewy, it's actually quite thick as well. I actually don't feel like I need any... Um, Primer. I'm actually going to use that as my primer today. So we're going to go straight in and apply some foundation. For foundation today, I'm just going to take my Remarkable Foundation by Marc Jacobs. And I'm just going to apply that all over. So I still have a little bit of my spray tan, but it's all come off of my face. So it does look a little bit dark now that I'm applying it, but it will even out once I blend it all in. 
So just taking my Y7 by Morphe, I'm just going to blend that into my face and all the way down my neck. And around my forehead, I'm just taking a 135 by Zoeva and I'm just going to blend that off. I don't like to use a really big brush in this area because I just feel like it goes on my brows. With my Touch Up Concealer Stick by Marc Jacobs, so I'm just going to take the shade Medium 33 and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes now the good thing about this product is that there is just so much coverage in it you guys i'm gonna blend that off with my 135 and we're gonna blend it straight into my foundation look how much coverage it's giving me underneath my eyes i am living for it now to set that all together i'm gonna take my invisible powder my finish line powder by mark jacobs just taking it an r36 brush by morphe i'm just gonna set that underneath my eyes you actually don't need too much powder with this concealer to set it because it does have such a full coverage and it's so creamy you don't want to take away the creaminess with the powder you only need a tiny little bit to set now it's time to bronze my face i'm going to take my fantastic omega bronzer by mark jacobs and dipping in with the 127 brush by zoeva i'm going to contour the jaw as well i'm going to bronze up the forehead as well on a 127 by zoeva i'm just going to pick up my dim infusion blush by hourglass this blush is so beautiful. It is so soft in consistency, yet there is so much pigment just to get a really nice, pretty pink. To highlight my face today, I'm actually just going to take this shade in Equality and I'm going to take it down the bridge of my nose. And with a fan highlighting brush, I'm just going to add a little to the tops of my cheekbones. So now with a Fenty Beauty 210, I'm just going to softly contour my nose. Everything's going to be a little more softer today because I've got such a statement on the eyes. And you know what, guys? I'm actually loving this eye look so much. I don't want to add any lashes on. And because of my Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home mascara, I don't need to add any lashes on today. So now that we're finishing up this look, I'm just going to take my Go Big or Go Home mascara and apply a little bit more to my lashes. The good thing about this product is that it is made with plant fats and sunflower oil. So it actually just makes the product really, really creamy. It doesn't flake. So you can actually go back and apply more without clumping your lashes. Just going to add some on the bottom. Okay, it's time for my lips. I'm just going to take the Lolita Crayon by Kat Von D. So for my lips, I'm just going to take the Yours Truly by Becca. With blue eyeshadow, I feel like this kind of apricotty beige tone looks really nice with it. So just to set over that, I'm going to go in with Radiant Flight by Zoeva. Now to set that all together, I'm going to take the Beauty Blender Reju Set and Refresh Spray. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I got so many requests to play with the Vegan Palette by Kat Von D. It's just so cute. There's so many amazing colors that you can play with. And 20% of each sale goes to the Mercy for Animals charity, which I think is just so beautiful. I love Kat Von D Beauty. I'm such a massive fan of the brand. So I feel like I had so much fun playing with these colors. It was just really cool. And especially the Fenty Beauty Vivid Liquid Liners. Like that consistency, that pigment is just something else. So I had a lot, a lot of fun with those products. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.